Welcome to another Din Dojo tutorial. Today we're going to talk about fades and crossfades. I had a request on how to do this, and there's a couple ways you can go about doing the same thing. So the first thing you want to do is you want to change your click tool. Uh, you can do either one. I usually like to do the right click tool or the uh, Apple click tool. So this is your right one. You're going to go down and change it to the crossfade tool. And this does uh, just like in and out fades as well. Uh, plus crossfades. Okay, so let's get rid of this. All right, the song I have here is uh, Revolution of Reason. It goes intro, uh, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, solo, chorus. Okay, so there's a lot of a lot of stuff in there, but let's say I wanted to take out this entire section right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in first. And I'm going to zoom in. This is, uh, the shortcut is hold the Apple and then right and left arrow, zoom in and out. And the same goes for up and down. So, Okay, so let's listen to this part real quick. Okay, so I want to make a cut here at 25. And remember, these are all non-destructive edits. Fades are non-destructive as well. Okay, split. Oh, you gotta select the region. I'm gonna split. And I'm gonna go to the end of that part and I'm gonna do the same thing. You can listen to that real quick. Okay. And you can you can uh change the length on either side in uh in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna delete this part. Okay, so let's just let's just do a fade out real quick. Okay, so you're going to hold your your Apple key, and that's going to change your arrow to the crossfade tool that you set up here. And you're going to make a selection for however long you want the fade to be. Let's say we want it to be one measure long. There you go. And listen to that. Okay, so that's how that works. And you can do the same thing to uh, do fade ins. You would just do it on the opposite side like this. Okay. Now let's say you did a you want a really small fade just for uh, like an edit if you had like vocal edit and you wanted to do a really small fade you could zoom way in like this click here zoom way in so you can almost see the bits but and do a small fade like oh, not enough there you go okay when you zoom out see it's not true to size anymore once you get to the bigger size. But when you zoom back in, as soon as you see, see it get bigger, that's the actual size of the fade. Okay? Logic's weird like that. And the shortcut to undo is Apple Z, if you didn't already know. Um, enter takes you to the beginning of your uh, your file. And spacebar is uh, start and stop, just so you know. Okay, so we want to patch this together. So you can click this region, move it over. Okay. So now the files are right next to each other. Um, there's another way you can uh, do that real quick and it's like shuffle. Uh, if it's like this and you make an edit, it'll automatically bump it right back up there. So there's no space in between. But so these are, uh, these are called your drag modes. And this is what happens this is what you want logic to do. So if I want it to overlap, I can drag this over and this file will overlap, but this information is still there. Okay. If I wanted to not have an overlap, if I moved it over like this, it would just, it would shorten this, this region so that there's no space. So we'll move this back. Right. And there you go. See, it doesn't, it doesn't really cut it. It just shortens the, shortens the file. Because these are all, uh, like I said, non-destructive edits, which means you can change all this stuff. And all it's doing, all Logic is doing, is making references to the actual audio file, which is saved. Now, in the sample editor, down here, if you make fades and edits or anything, those are all destructive. Okay, so let's undo most of this. Okay, so here we are back to putting it right back on. So now let's say we want to make a crossfade. Hold the Apple key again, and you're going to draw or select the region where you want like that. Okay. 
that will give you a crossfade. All right, so it's like nothing happened. So let's say, let's say we did it later on though. hear kind of a level difference there there's a way to change that over here in your inspector uh, just click on your inspector this drop down probably won't be down but just click on the drop down and these are your fade edits so for whatever regions you select you can set the fades uh, the fade in amount the curve uh, the type of fade um, so like for that, where there's a different level, you would use what's called an equal power crossfade. And what the equal power crossfade does is it, uh, makes the regions so that they have sort of a similar power going in and out. So it should make it a little more even sounding. If you noticed, it got a little louder on the right, the right side here. Okay, maybe, it was, maybe that was just the snare drum. But that's what you can do. So there's there's ways to edit um, the fades there. If you have a, m a bunch of fades you want to do, like if you have a vocal edit and there's like a region here, region here, region here, and they're all chopped up, well, um, we, we can just do it right here. So so they're all chopped up right here. Uh, I'm going to shorten all these. 